All right, welcome back in. Uh, we're just going to do a short little, well, I don't know how short, a uh, little tour of the ship that I just got. This is free. You get this by um, completing the Freestar Collective faction quest line. It's called the Star Eagle. Now, there are a few things to note on this. Well, let's back this up here. Let me go to skills here. I still don't have piloting. I don't have Starship Engineering, which means I can't purchase or fly normally a Class B, Class C. I can't steal ships with them on it. I can't add parts that are Class B or Class C. I can't add parts that require Starship Engineering. But in this, you will very quickly see that... Oh, what am I doing? You will very quickly see that this thing has stuff that I... We, I don't have access to. This is Starship Design Rank 4, these suppressors. Now, it has two, you only need one. There's been quite a few people do testing to find out that uh, only one, you only need one. So, we have a very nice suppressor on here. We have a quality shield. It's still not the biggest Class A shield, but it is a very good Class A shield for someone who has, as you can see, it's red at the bottom right, and I've taken this out in space, and it does work. So, that's pretty awesome. Uh, and then, it has these big, it has four of them. These big boy engines. Sorry, right here. Require Starship Design Rank 4. And we can use them just fine, because we got the ship for free. Since it was gifted to us, we can use this as is. And that is just super, super sweet. So... Now, the grab drives I'm going to be replacing because uh, even without any skills, you can get to uh, a 23 light year range. Um, so the grab jump thrust 23. Uh, then the reactor is 29. If you, you can see, Starship Design Rank 4 is what it's required. This thing, it's, it's going to be an absolute monster once I'm done. It's going to do so, so, so much damage while having a, a pretty incredible shield. Now I do have some shield skill, so that's part of it. I've got over 1,100 shield with the plus 40%. And I'm going to be tearing this thing apart, and I'm going to be rebuilding it. But I am going to do this wing design. I like the wing design. I think it's pretty cool. I don't like these things, the Nova Radiators. I think they're suited for a different ship and not this one. Uh, so I want to show the layout real quick, because there are some things I actually really like on this layout. Now it has the same cockpit as my max power class A in that max power that you can build yourself because you cannot purchase anything bigger than a 20 power uh, reactor. So you come straight in and you've got this basically like an engineering deck. This is just your lowest level. I like it. I think it's a good it's a good fit down here. It, it uh, takes... I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense for this to be here. So I will probably keep that module. And then we're going to go up here. And I know I can jump back up, but half the time I just forget about it. So come up. This is uh, the command center, I think it is. Is one of the modules that I just think is crap. You've got all this wasted space in here. You have one... Oh, this one has two chairs. Three chairs. Oh, okay, so this one at least has a couple of chairs. Um, but it's just... It's strange to have all this wasted space. Like, this should have two chairs here because it's a table. Two people could sit at and look at it. And Why is all this wasted space here? It's just... It's... In, I don't know. Inefficient design, in my opinion. So this module I will probably junk out. Same cockpit as the other one, so, and I like it, but I have an idea that I'm going to change it to, and I'll go over that later. Now, this is the 2x2 two two Infirmary. Um, Stroud Eklund, I, th or not Infirmary, I'm sorry, Our, um, Brig. This is the Brig. 2x2 two two Brig. I love this. So, it's... I didn't put those on there. Did my NPCs put those on there? That's Okay, all right. Creeping me out, NPCs. Um, I like this. I think this is really cool. 
you know, you've got your you got a separate shower in here. This place is just like built for your crew. You know, you've got I I don't know. It looks like I can sleep on this. Let's find. Let's find out. Let's just do an hour. If I can get see see if I can get rested bonus just by sleeping in the brig. Oh, you're well rested. That's awesome. That's just really cool. I do I have seen the NPCs sitting back here too. I think this space is a little wasted in my opinion, but I I love the 2x2 two two brig. That's just so cool. And the setup in here I think is fantastic. Um probably depending on how the wings go out, I may add um portholes. I don't know if I want to add portals to this front because I kind of like this little bench right there. It just looks neat. Um, can't add them to that side because you got the ship there, but it, this is a really cool living quarter. This is a two by one all in one, I think. So I'm not a fan of three floors. This is something that I probably, I'm probably going to junk. Uh, this comes up to a cargo space instead of a companion way. And then yes. you have the captain's quarters. Um, it's really strange to be up here on top. You have no uh, portholes or anything. That's got a shroud up front. Like, I, I could see it having portholes on both sides. So you could take a look out. But And this is the captain's bed, really? Bleh. I don't like something? it. So, I'll probably junk all that. Just because it just... It just doesn't work for me. Um, and then what my thought is... Wrong way. Let's go back to the... The builder here. Well, I keep forgetting, man. This thing's in the front. I love it being in the front. I'm so used to having to run around to the back side. It's crazy. Alright, so let's go back into this real quick. So, I'm... Pr okay, first off, I think what I want to do is the two-wide cockpit that has the stairs so that I don't have to deal with ladders or I can minimize the, the ladder flow. Um, so, probably going to do that. Uh, I may just go get it uh, before I do a build for this and uh, change that. So, then it... it uh, I'm thinking for the the bulk of the ship to be too wide, too high, so that this two by two uh, Stroud Brig would just connect straight into the um, the two wide, or is it a three wide? It might be a three wide actually. I'm trying to think. It's got three ports on the back, so yeah, it might be a three wide cockpit. So it it might be the same, but. I want to do connections to these wings. These wings are all superfluous, except for... And this thing has too many um, landing gear. It's only got 1,100, and it has eight landing gear. Why? That's that's insanity. It, there's, there's absolutely no reason to have that much landing gear. Six would be fine. Um, I don't think you could get it down to four. But six would be fine. It just... Yeah... I don't know, maybe they did it to, to give it a cool look, but I think they could have not had these, put these back, and I think it would look just fine. But I'm gonna I'm gonna set it up with all the the gear that I have. Dun, 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 go to, where is it at? Here it is. So I'm actually gonna outfit it with six of these. Um, they are absolutely ins absolute insanity. They just wreck. And then I'm gonna put try out some uh, auto turrets on it to also give it um, kind of like that surprise. You know, you first get jumped, and they're not always right in front of you. So I'm gonna do some of that. We'll come back after I do a build video and see what I can come up with. Uh, I'm excited. It's a great ship, man. It's got a lot of really cool stuff that we you just don't have access to as your uh, like my my. Um, my shields with a uh, tier 2, I get 1,216 shields out of that one that's like, what was it, 780, 760? 2280 cargo. Oh, I didn't show you that. The cargo on this thing is awesome. They're also like uh, tier 4? 
Sorry, free MVP. Rank two. 1,000 cargo. And there's only two of them. And so I still need to put shielded cargo on this. So I gotta find some cool place to work that in. I don't know why it has a pair of 70s when you can stick 140s on there or, or the 100s and have 200 gra uh, fuel. But yeah, great ship. Uh, the quest line for the Freestar Collective can be kind of a pain in the ass. But, and it's long. It took me the better part of a whole day to get it finished, just because I, I like to loot everything. But this is what you get. It is a fantastic ship, the Star Eagle, and it's a great platform for a no-skill build. If you want to do all the things, 29 power is going to give you so, so much. It is outstanding. I mean, that's almost the, the biggest A that you can get. A, the A goes to, like, 33. So, yeah, fantastic. All right, guys, thanks for watching.